We've had a lot of requests for uh, to make a video showing how we make colloidal silver. I, uh, I'm not going to spend any time trying to convince you to use it. I, we've been using it daily for 13 years. We're convinced of its safety. We know what it does. Do your own research. I'm not going to talk to you about how it turns people blue or any of that kind of junk that you hear on the internet. There are some truth to it, but you have to research and find out why. It is not because of properly made pure elemental silver used in colloidal silver. I'm only interested in showing you how to make it today and how we do it. Uh, to start with, you need distilled water, not purified water, not reverse osmosis, not anything. This is the only thing that I know is safe, is distilled water. We're just going to show you, we generally make it by the quart, I mean by the gallon, but today we're going to make it by the quart in the interest of time for the video. We want to go ahead and fill this almost all the way up. We don't want to get quite to the top because we don't want our clamps to hold the silver to reach the water. We don't want anything in the water except silver. Now if your batteries are good in your silver generator, it'll take about, <coughs> about 25 minutes in a standard, I don't know what this is, 750 watt microwave or something. So uh, about you'll, you'll time it, you'll play with it a little bit. 25 to 40 minutes. One, if it takes over 45 minutes, then it's time to change your batteries. So we'll try 30 minutes here. Uh, no, I'm sorry. Wait, 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 wait. We're just heating the water, so we're going to need about five minutes to get this water right to the boiling point. We want it to be real hot. It doesn't have to boil, but we want it right at that point where, it, uh, uh, where we have small bubbles forming. reason for this is to help. It's distilled water will not conduct electricity because it doesn't have any minerals in it or anything. So we're going to uh, heat it up and that aids in the process, and even if it didn't, I found that hot water gives me a much more consistent, better product than colder water does. So either way, I heat the water. And uh, we'll be back with you here in about five minutes and we'll carry on. Okay, our water's hot, good and hot, real good and hot. Just like I like it. All right. We have our strips of silver here. This is pure elemental silver. It's 99.9 percent .9 pure. There are those that tell you that you must have 99.99, or what they call 0.9999. Fine. Uh, you do not. Uh, it doesn't hurt anything, but it's unnecessarily expensive. Take your little strip of silver. Wire is expensive too. Silver bezel works real well. Bend a little hook in the top of it so it'll hang on your jar. Find the place where the threads are the farthest down there. Hang your silver in there about an inch or so apart from each other. They cannot touch. Now we want to take our generator. Plug the wires into it, and it doesn't matter. Negative, positive doesn't make any difference. They're not they're not colored to where you can tell the difference. It doesn't matter. Okay, they're not touching. The water is hot. If we waited long enough, it would probably take off and go by itself. Now you can tell when it starts going. Will when it starts here, we'll show you. Uh, this is the only thing we keep iodized salt in the house for is for this purpose. We use sea salt for everything else. Do not use sea salt for your silver. There's too many chemicals and, and pollutants and, and other minerals and stuff that you do not want uh, to turn into a colloidal anything. You want to make sure. And we use only enough of this to start that, for lack of a better term, electrolysis process between the two rods. So we'll take a small, just like 10 or 15 grains, a little pinch, and throw it right in between the two uh, silver rods, silver uh, strips. And we'll wait just a minute. All right, can you zoom in on that? Can you tell? If you look at this left-hand rod here, keep calling them rods, they're strips. It's silver bezel. It's 20 thousandths of an inch thick and 3 sixteenths of an inch wide is what we use. Or this is an eighth, eighth inch, I think. Can you tell in the, in the viewfinder? 
Okay, I don't know if that's... But it looks like this left... I don't know if you'll be able to see it in the video or not, but it looks like smoke, literally like a smoking stick. It looks like smoke coming off of the, uh, the strip here. When that starts, then start your timer. We're going to start, we're going to run this for 30 minutes. And uh, we'll come back in 30 minutes and let you know what we, what we do with it after that. All right, we've been 30 minutes here, and it's, uh, this will probably be the last batch of uh, colloidal silver we make with these batteries. You can tell it's taken a little bit too long, so this will be the last one. But this batch is fine. It's done. So we're going to take these clamps off there. Now you'll find that one of these rods will be a little darker. One of these wash strips will be a little darker. Now that happens pretty much every time. It's not a big deal. All you need to do is get one of these little green pads here, kitchen dish pads, and just give that a couple of swipes there and get it back to its original shiny self. Give that one a couple of strokes. Get those back where they go. Make sure you unplug this off your generator so you don't short them out and run your uh, batteries down. And that's ready to go. Now don't worry too much about the color. Uh, this is kind of a cloudy color right now and typically that's, that's what it is. Uh, after it sets overnight for a while it will normally turn to a uh, kind of a yellowish color and that's fine. Either way is fine. Uh, if you're using the right ingredients, all the right supplies or anything, pure silver, uh, distilled water, uh, don't let it touch any metal. When you're heating this up it needs to be in a glass or ceramic jar or porcelain or, or something like that. Don't put it in a metal pan. Uh, don't store it in a metal thing. Don't stir it with a metal spoon unless it's silver. If it's pure silver that's okay. Don't store it around fans, motors, magnets, lights. Uh, you can store it like this, but it needs to be in a dark cabinet. We pour ours in uh, peroxide bottles. It's perfect for storing silver. If you're going to store it in plastic, it needs to be in uh, HDPE plastic. It says high-density polyethylene on it somewhere. Don't store it in something like a, a milk carton or something like that, because that silver tends to permeate, I guess is the right word, into the plastic the high density polyethylene is just a better storage container for it. And uh, other than that, you can go to our discussion forum. We have a book that we can, uh, we've got books that are 10 bucks, 30 something pages, has everything on it, documentation from different medical places and, and laboratories and things like that. And uh, you can also go to the shooting bench .com. That's Y-U-K-U, the shooting bench .com. Go to Survival Medicine, scroll down to Survival Medicine, click on that, and then open up Colloidal Silver. Colloidal, then there's a, there's a big long deal. You don't have to buy the book. It's basically all right there for you. We've offered it free. It's important enough to us that people get on this. If you want to buy the whole setup, we've got it. There's instructions on there to tell you how to make it and how to do it yourself. It doesn't cost you a dime. If you have any questions, feel free to call us. And I think that's about it. Everything else is covered in the book. This was just to show you only how to make it. I'm not going to convince you to use it or anything else. You, 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 you're obviously curious about it or you wouldn't be watching this video. So if you have any questions about it, send us an email. Send it to, uh, uh, let's see, send it to cope, C-O-P-E, at justmeasuresradio.com. And uh, I can answer your questions for it. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching.